here again, Ethernet's not there. If it's not working, everyone gets a USB dongle. No questions asked. Put the drivers on there. You don't have to worry about that. We'll make sure that it works before it goes. Um, Ian told. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We'll we'll make sure it's packed very well, Ian. Uh, yes, very much so. And uh, Nerox is uh, okay. Um, thank you, thank you, Nerox. Um, and uh, Eagle and Jay, yeah. And and here's the thing, guys. If if it turns out that UPS, FedEx. Well, right now, FedEx, it, it's, not, it's not FedEx. If UPS can't deliver this stuff and can't deliver it um, appropriately, because we packed this thing like a tank uh, when it comes, when we thought the very first time we, we, we packed it quite well, the second time, we, it, which is going to less music, we packed it like a tank. And if they destroy it, which I'm not saying that I've never seen it done before uh, with stuff that's a lot stronger than this, I'm sorry, but UPS. We're gonna have to go to a different carrier, and or we're just gonna have to do what we would say is the last resort, which is full-blown road trip across the United States and across the world. So, if we have to do it, we have to do it. If we have to make sure because we want to make sure that what you guys are gonna be getting is exactly what what you you paid for, and what you pledged for, and you're backing. So, we'll do it. Um. Let's see. Oh, Alan, I am so sorry about about that. What 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 would happen to you, to you? See, I wish I could say that the machines are easy. They are not. Um, I wish I could say that working with machines is easy. Um, they are not. Um, although you know, sometimes it's easier to work with a machine than it is to work with a person. Um, not saying any of you guys. No, 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 no. I'm just recalling certain things from my past, um, <laughs> as you guys probably know as well. So, let's see. Oh, you ended up. Wow, Eagle and Jay. I didn't realize you ended up uh, helping out on the printer bot. Uh, on the printer bot beta. E. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Midnight Manufacturing Company. I appreciate that. And uh, you want to say, what about uh, plan wooden, wood crate? Yes, that is plan number three. So, um, and, oh wow, you were printer print number three on the go. Um, and, uh, yes, the wood crate, that is, that is the next that's the next thing to try. So, yeah. Powers USA, yeah, you're right. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight it. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm serious, I'm serious, Jim. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight it one way or the other. You're absolutely correct. Um, you could identify the issues, yes. Um, the problem is, and I'm going to reiterate this again, on one end, it was with the software and the fact that me, I didn't have a full list, and um, that's, that's my fault. When it comes to uh, everything else, yeah. Could have used you guys in the beta? We absolutely could have. Um, when it comes to doing the software testing, we absolutely could have. Um, now that being said, I might sound a little harsh. And I don't mean to sound a little harsh, okay? All right, Jim? You of all people know that when you add in more and more and more and more developers, there is a possibility or chance 
where there's nothing but argument and nothing ever gets done. There are people who we have worked with in the past who do not have the same skill set as you do. And one of the things that I've noticed is <laughs> is one thing that's been said to, said to me several several times, which is the first time you ever fail is when you apply your skill set to other people. Yes, we could have used beta volunteers. Yes, we could have gone down that big of the path. We could have. The problem was is that we couldn't even finish or fix those particular issues that we were having because we weren't getting enough time to actually put these things together and do it right. Well, we're doing it right. We don't have any... We, we now have figured out what it is that we need to do. It doesn't change the fact that over the past, I don't know how long, this weekend at the very least, um, I can give you an example, but uh, certain holes weren't tapped, certain holes weren't drilled, and even though I've been spending most of my time on the admin stuff trying to get that, that stuff accomplished, no one was doing th this particular stuff and keeping, and it was basically keeping us hostage. And I say no one, I mean everyone, including myself. I wasn't out there drilling and tapping. Well, guess what? We did the drilling and tapping for the parts that needed it. So these little itty-bitty bombs that kept on blowing up in our face where, well, we put it together, but we're still missing these holes, so now we have to take it apart again. Uh-uh. No more of that stuff. If it happens again, everyone... Well, heck, I haven't been taking any kind of money from the company at all. No one's been taking any kind of money whatsoever when it comes to when it comes to a salary position, or even I mean the only person who's, who who are actually paying right now. Um, there's only one person who are paying, and it's not me. So everything I've been doing right now, guys, I've been living off of basically <laughs> cheese and crackers, if you want to put it that way, or bread and water, and I will continue to do so until the very end, until they're shipped and it's done right. So. I don't know what else I can say to you, Jim, but we're trying to make it right, and we'll continue to make it right toward the very end. All right? All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I know I've gone somewhat silent, guys. I do apologize for that. So, but Powers USA, you're right.
that being said, I'm going to make a deal with Powers USA. If you want out, we'll give you a full refund. Minus what Kickstarter took, minus what Amazon took, and we'll give you all the records for that too. Of course, that goes with everyone. That same deal goes for everyone. Do you want out? Okay. But if you're in, I'm going to do my best to make sure this happens. Make sure you get better than what you promised. That's who I am. And yes, I am angry at production a lot. Yes, I am angry at the quality control that we have a lack of, and a lack of attention to detail, and uh, the, the assumptions drive me up a wall. I'm guilty of that too. I'm guilty of doing those types of things too. So, sorry. What I can say, in a very, very good mood, is that we went from printing with a, an extruder, which would have frustrated the living heck out of you guys, um, to one that was very simple, very easy, to doing multiple materials, to doing a bunch of other things that, and getting things better and better and better. So, <laughs> I can only assume that your frustration, if you guys have any kind of frustration, is with the fact that we guys, we haven't shipped you what you guys are seeing up on the screen right now. And you're right, you're right to be frustrated. We're frustrated. We're covered up with printers, and we want to make sure that they're right, and we want to make sure they go out the door, and that you guys are prepared for them, well prepared for them, and we'll love them, and we'll use them to make things better in your own life. And, <laughs> guys, what I'm printing off right now, what you don't really see or understand, is that once this thing is done, <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna love what we've done because it does work. What I'm printing off right now fits, it works. It's just not installed, and it is a bonus to all of you guys. It's a bonus to everyone. So, yeah. Oh yeah. see she has all the comments oh yeah. somebody had a CNC and a lathe broken when it came to them yeah happy to have on your right week is the first year anniversary of the original ship date uh, for first week of December 2012 you're right so we've delivered how many have we delivered two three four Well, we delivered six. 
delivered six printers. And we have a total of seven out there in the field. Yep, that's right. Which means we've got 42 left to go. Okay. We can do that. We will do that. So, <laughs> Mary Rocks, thank you. <laughs> it's not that I'm frustrated. I beat myself up quite a bit over the fact that I'm trying to get you guys what it is that you pro that was promised to you. It hurts, but I know what I got to do. I know what we all got to do in order to get this stuff out of here. So, thank you. And, uh, yeah, thank you, Alan. Yep. Well, if you think about it, we have good QC. Because we found the issues before they went out the door. Um, problem is, is, um, well, as I stated earlier, all those particular problems. So, yeah. <laughs> but we'll stick the, we'll stay the course, guys. I will stay the course. So, I'm already broke, so. <laughs> I have no problem there. I'm single, and uh, no problems or qualms there either. So yeah, I've sacrificed quite a bit, and I'm not done until you guys are happy. So yeah, there you go. Mm. Yes, D.B. Nickerson. Absolutely. Um, Northern Louisiana. Um, there are maybe one or two guys. Hold on a second. Let me see. Uh, no, no, there are there is no there's no one else around in that area. So thank you, thank you, DB Nickerson. So yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> guys is I'm forgot to open up a Gmail account so that I can see what's uh, what's going on. So yeah. And oh my goodness, we just got some of the best news ever. Uh and you know what? I'm gonna share this with you guys. I want to share this with you. While this is printing, um, now this is going all the way to Australia. Okay, so give me just a moment. Let me see if I can add in a uh, little screen region. Bam. Oop. There you go, guys. So for you guys, this actually just came in. Uh, hi Dan, Carl, and all. The package arrived today just an hour or so ago. It traveled well. The packaging looks uh, well to the task. Nice job. 
so awesome thanks I can see how the replacement Z rail and associated bracket go together um, and uh, I can see how the dog ears are go I'm not sure about that uh, let's see a new adjustable bed uh, nice adjust uh, nice little adjusters we can slip up to brass hex and uh, yeah that's right that's right good stuff so we sent him uh, some replacement parts because he was a beta and uh, Tim Tim was a beta and he gave us quite a bit of, of fantastic feedback okay he came all the way up here and it's good stuff so and uh, yes David guy but fan news is, is able to be shared uh, let's see um, and yes uh, Tim I'll go get over all the outrigger stuff I'll go over all the um, all the yeah I gave you the new hard drive image so you got the right stuff um, yes the firmware is on the hard drive image uh, and yes I'll be email and send you guys some code um, actually we'll be sending you uh, the latest stuff the latest stuff that we have as of right now what was there was not the latest stuff but yeah there you go um, and now you have the very best uh, and Tim if you're watching you have the very best extra head that we've had that went through here okay um, open it up clean it off the thing is a, is the printing champ and it's the thing that all the other extruder heads that we've had here are based off of okay so that guy um, we had roughly I want to say close to a thousand hours worth of printing time. It was close to a thousand hours worth of printing time on that single head, and it would not quit. We've used the same stuff over and over and over again for the ones we have. Some of them, like I said before, <laughs> shafts we hob in the very beginning didn't work out so well. So thank you very much, Tim, for, for that. So there you go. I'll take that as a win. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, good stuff. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, how's the production on the emos going? Very good, actually. Um, I'm going off of just feel as of right now, guys, a little bit. And um, while Carl's been been out in California um, and trying to put them together, um, and. I gotta tell you, some of the, and when I say by feel, is that some of the linear slide bearings that are there, which are the ones that we got that were not IKO bearings, um, IKO would never ever have this problem, they don't move so well, even when we hold them up, and they, they don't slide down, and I think there's one that, that's around here that we, that I usually use as, as an example, they cog and clink, some of them are just absolutely horrible, some of them are spot on awesome and those that are spot on uh, spot on awesome we've been putting together Carl and I have been putting them together um, we've noticed a couple of things Charles you did a wonderful thing for us this past week when you when you started operating and, and started uh, started using the actual emo 25 and everyone thanked that man because he because of this little bit of testing that he did with it um, he did something that 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 none of the other backers did when the, who have who have the Emo 25, which is you flip it upside down, and when you flip it upside down, which I've got actually one right here, it would hit that particular nut that you see right there, and not so good. So we added on some rubber, and now. The impact is quite a bit less, and I gotta tell you guys, simple, simple little itty bitty fix, but all emos here on out will have that particular fix put into them. The ones that are currently out, th out there in the field will give you exactly what we use, which to coat the stuff. Which, I'm not sure if you guys have ever used this stuff before, but there you go, Plasti Dip. Fantastic stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. So, um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Charles, for that. So, everything else with the emo, you know, it's just a matter of being on the right boards having them soldered up 
and then putting it out the door. So um, we have quite a few emos. Uh, we've got 10 of them that are in, in the production queue, queue right now, with another 10 coming in right after them. Um, some of them are still drying off of the plastic dip, and uh, yeah. And uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Alan, yes. Um, that does not shock or surprise me at all. After after what we've we've gone through, we've actually sp we've actually spent uh, a ridiculous amount of money on these bearings, and some of them we've just thrown out. Some of them we've just given to friends just because you know they wanted to have a linear bearing and they thought they could open it up um, and they were fine with the balls shooting out all over the place so you know we didn't charge them anything um, because we couldn't use them and we didn't think they were going to be able to use them either so yeah so we're finding out that, that better more often than not it's best to actually go with quality more than anything else so um, and yeah um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when those ball bearings come out, uh, you're right, Alan, um, it's like the magic smoke. Once the magic smoke comes out, it's damn near impossible to put it back in. So, yeah. Not so much fun. So, let's see how high this guy is going so far. Good. So. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that was really good that came out this week. There are a couple of things that really that happened this week that were really really good. Besides getting to the root, to, to pretty much the root issue, and able to uh, able to get the Ethernet to work on, it, although intermittently, we got a lot of the assembly instructions done. Got a lot of the stuff that's pretty much for the manuals, uh, and also doing a time study on that as well, um, so that we know what it really takes and how much time it really takes. Um, and that's not 100% done, but we got a lot of it done. Um, oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> I got a lot of pieces and parts finally dialed in when it, came, when it comes to printing them out. We shipped Less Music's uh, printer. That was the week before. And... Um, we identified a lot of software issues. We fixed a lot of software issues. We've got a new drive image. We freed up roughly about 12 gigabyte, gigabytes worth of space on all your hard drives. We um, are including a new manual on a couple, a couple of different items, specifically how to use like stuff like MeshLab and and uh, FreeCAD and OpenSCAD and, and a bunch of other stuff like that. Which, if anyone wants to know. You need to ask, I'm sorry, you need to thank the Midnight Manufacturing Company. He did a wonderful job and is continuing to do a wonderful job creating a tutorial for everyone to use OpenSCAD. So much so that the gentleman uh, who came over from Louisiana, um, along with a, uh, uh, a very young gentleman um, who came by and worked with us this past week. Um, when they didn't have to come out during Thanksgiving week, they came out. Um, the many manufacturing company was kind enough to